Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, overnight it was another challenging topside challenge for the Australian dollar as the market did attempt to take the level on at 65, 60, 65 and ended up posting an engulfing candle and now negating the previous candle which was close to a hammer or a dragonfly and therefore now looks for a new direction as the market is now possibly likely to be a little bit weaker into today's session and look down towards the region of 6360 as we can see was respected over the last few days still locked in a very tight range of 6360 to 6565 it will be all eyes on the US dollar which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies as it rallies overnight from 111.5 to 112.16 and therefore has put a little bit of a dent right across the market as we look to the monthly job report which is the non-farm payrolls with the forecast estimates around 265,000 jobs were new jobs that is were added to the US economy in September significantly less than the 315,000 report in the previous month. However, looking at the technicals, we can see that the Aussie, as I mentioned, especially to the four hour pattern, is somewhat weak. And therefore, I'm assessing now whether the market can actually stage a rebound from this 63.60 level. And if so, it should put it back on track to look to that top side challenge, which is a key point at 65.65. Failing to hold, however, at 63.60, then this will expose the next level, which is seen around 62.45.60. Since the up challenge of that downtrend, which was a significant resistant area around 99.90.95, we can see that the market's taken another tumble and now posting a possible weaker phase into Friday, as the intraday bears now look towards 97.70.75. If we find that level crumbling or taken out, then it would give further exposure to the downside and maybe down back to the levels last seen in late September of 96. The dollar yen, well, the market's once again still teasing at 145 level, and it's well aware that the Bank of Japan will be clearly looking at FX uh, levels to see where the market's trading. And like previously, previously that we saw where this uh, spinning top is, the whipsaw price action may emerge if they intervene again above 145 and that would send the market down towards the region of 142.6070. I wouldn't be uh, a bull at these levels, although there is little to gain due to the technicals being quite heavy and the MACD still remaining in negative territory. So this reinforces the view that the market should eventually take a significant downturn. Having retreated from the top side region of 114.7080, the pound is still in a little bit of trouble, especially with the dollar re rebounding. And now looks towards this bottom side of the range, which is around 109.80 due to the recent two candles and the technicals breaking down a little bit to the RSI. And therefore, the bears are weighing and may continue until we get the numbers out of the uh, US from the non farm payrolls which could see much turbulence if the uh, number is lower than the 260,000 forecast. The gold, not as weak, but still holding and respecting above the level of 1,700.02 to 04. While that level's intact, then I anticipate that the market should eventually take the challenge back to the top side. And that is towards 1,730.34. And if we clear that level, it gives further guidance towards 1,752 to 56. Unlike the other markets, we haven't broken down as much until we see that break of 1,702. Then I feel that the bullish outlook should maintain. And wrapping up with oil, well, we're quite close to this top side now, which is around $88.8090. If we get a break there, which looks a little bit uncertain at the moment due to the technicals being somewhat overbought from the RSI, we could see a rejection back towards the bottom side around $83 a barrel. That being said, if we do see a significant break of $88, $80, then I'm looking up towards the region of $91 to $92 as a potential objective. Well, that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me, but please keep an eye out for the intraday report and also the end of the day wrap.